Hey everyone, in this week's video I'm going to be showing you all what to do when your colony has its first workers. I'm going to be featuring one of my Campanatus queens that I caught in my How to Catch a Queen Ant video that just had her first nanotics. Enjoy this week's video. The first thing you're going to want to do when your queen has her first nanotics is just to wait a few days. You're going to have to wait until your workers' exoskeletons have hardened after they've hatched, because from my experience, they will not accept any honey until that stage. The second thing you guys are going to want to do to ensure the success of your newly founded colony is to feed them a bit of honey. By this time, your queen has used up all of her fat reserves that have fed the colony so far, so you're going to need to feed them. If you do this, this will increase the queen's egg laying rate and it will also give the workers energy to forage around for food. The third thing you guys should do to make sure your colony thrives is to give them a small outworld. It has to be small enough just so that they can roam around a little bit and so you can have a place to put your honey and small mealworms eventually. This Ants Canada test tube portal does the job perfectly. It basically acts like a small foraging arena slash feeding area for your newly founded colonies. The top opens up so that you can feed your colonies without any a chance of escapees. As your colony grows and needs more space, you can easily attach new nests and outworlds to this test tube portal. So this test tube portal basically doubles up as a founding stage slash early colony outworld and also can be a gateway to other nests and outworlds. The fourth thing you can do to ensure the success of your newly founded colony is to clean up after their garbage. If you don't clean up after their garbage, it will eventually mold and it could cause fatalities in your colony. Some cocoon spinning species like Campanatus and Formica and Laceus sometimes leave their cocoons in their outworlds, so you will have to clean that up as well as cleaning up dead insect parts and sometimes feces. The fifth thing you want to do to ensure the success of your colony is to not feed them live prey at first. The first reason is that if one worker dies in the colony, especially at this stage, they could be catastrophic to the colony. The second reason being that if you want your colony to actually thrive, they need proteins. And if they can't get the proteins because they're scared of live prey, then they will not develop and your colony will not succeed. The sixth thing you'll want to do to ensure the success of your colony is to feed them a variety of foods. Think about it this way, if you ate a banana every single day for the rest of your life, you'd get tired of it, right? This goes the same way with ants. With sugars, usually they don't mind if you just feed them the same honey every once in a while, they just love the stuff, but when it comes to proteins, you'll want to feed them a variety of stuff. For instance, mealworms, superworms, cockroaches, earthworms, grasshoppers, uh, mosquitoes, fruit flies, etc. are all great options if you want to give your colony a variety of foods. The seventh tip to help your colony thrive and succeed is to not move them into a nest too early. If you do this, they might leave their trash in the nest and eventually cause mold into the nest and you'll have to move them out and in worst cases, the queen will die. If you remember one of my earlier videos called something like my Campanatus colony died or whatever, I actually moved a Campanatus novoborakensis colony into a nest too early and I ended up paying the price by having the queen die from mold. So out of all of these tips, this is the most important one that you guys need to follow. Now that about wraps up this tutorial. If you guys like this style of video, then please consider liking and subscribing to the channel so that I know to make more of these types of videos. Anyways, if you guys have any suggestions on video ideas for me to do in the future, whether it's care guides, tutorials, unboxings, whatever, tell me in the comment section below and I will be sure to reply. But before I go, I want to wish all of you guys good luck on your new ant colonies. 
I know that my colony will be thriving here soon, and I hope all of you have the same success. Thank you all for watching, and I will see all of you on Sunday. Peace.